here's a uh, here's a southern hemisphere uh, heteromorph. This is Australoceras uh, uh, from Australia. Comes out of the Cretaceous of Queensland, and uh, uh, like many heteromorphs, the coils are not touching. The coils are uh, separate from each other, and um, uh, it's always a puzzle what a selective advantage this would have had for an animal with this kind of coiling. It would seem like it would make the shell much less strong than if the coils are backed up against themselves. One of the purpose of a shell of a uh, anim animal, and particularly an active animal, like the uh, ammonites were. Uh, uh, one of the advantages of having a shell is that the shell offers protection. And you want something that's strong. You want something that will give rigidity to the animal so it can be protected. Uh, ammonites uh, were able to go into a variety of depths of water to move into lower, um, uh, deeper elevations of water where the pressures are more intense. And the shell uh, offers a, uh, uh, a protecting cover. And this uh, type of loosely coiled shell would seem to negate against that advantage of having a, uh, a shell. So it's, it's very puzzling why these animals develop these peculiar and aberrant shells. They, they don't seem to be of any selective advantage to the organism. They don't seem to be any, uh, have offered any, any advantage that we, can, that we know of. A uh, couple of other uh, uh, late Cretaceous ammonites, this is one from uh, Northwest Territories in Canada, comes out of the Cretaceous, uh, there is not a, a great deal of uh, latitude variation in the Mesozoic. You find animals that you associate with rather warm waters uh, being fossilized or found as fossils at very high latitudes. Sort of the same thing as you get with dinosaurs. As you know, there, there are dinosaurs found in uh, Alaska and, and uh, even Ellesmere Island and uh, uh, Arctic uh, uh, areas today that are very cold and in no way, shape, or form could support a, um, uh, uh, a reptile. Or, or it would seem very difficult that even an, an endothermic thermic animal like dinosaurs may have been uh, would be able to be supported uh, in, in these uh, cold climates, at least that which exists today. Uh, we do know that during the uh, Mesozoic, the, 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 uh, uh, North America was farther south. The whole continent of North America has moved uh, to the northwest throughout the uh, Cenozoic era. And that may explain some of it, but it doesn't seem to explain it all. Uh, you find a very cosmo cosmopolitan uh, 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 distribution of ammonite genera, uh, as well as other uh, Mesozoic genera, um, uh, that uh, don't seem to reflect the um, uh, variation in latitude that you find uh, characteristic of organisms today. Another peculiar ammonite at the uh, uh, Late Cretaceous is this uh, straight ammonite called Baculites. Uh, Baculites is uh, a very long um, straight ammonite that uh, uh, is, is atypical of ammonites because they're usually coiled. Baculites is straight, although the very uh, apex, the very terminal end of the shell is coiled. Usually that's not preserved. It's very rare to find a Baculites uh, uh, fossil uh, with the um, uh, end of the shell preserved. But uh, they're rather, rather very, very common uh, ammonites in the Pierce Shale, in the uh, Bearpaw Shale, in the, uh, the, the um, uh, 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 Lake Cretaceous um, uh, shales of the high plains and the uh, intermontane basins of the uh, Rocky Mountains. Here's a, a, a selection of a selection of um, Baculites. Uh, this is a, uh, a species that comes from the uh, Gulf Coast. This is from Owl Creek again, uh, the um, uh, Ripley Group in Mississippi. Um, this is uh, Baculites uh, compressus, a farm that is common in the uh, Pierce Shale in the western United States. Here's a cross-section of a Baculites shell showing the, um, uh, the, the chambers, showing the uh, chambers which have been filled in with a druse of calcite, but uh, the chambers would act as a a place for our gas to be injected. And the animal could raise or lower itself uh, in varying depths of water, much as does a submarine.